So we are getting ready to cut the decorative edging on all the cross beams that'll go on top of the pergola. And since we have to make so many of the exact same cut, and because we decided to pick an angle of the cut that's um, kind of funny, it was about a 57 degree angle, um, we have to cut our boards long ways. So I wanted to show you a great way to set up your compound miter saw if you have to make the same cut over and over and over so you don't have to necessarily measure each time. Um, it's time consuming and you can, you know, your measurements can get off a little bit. So this way, when we cut all of our beams over and over and over again, they'll all look the same. They'll all look machined um, and like they came, you know, as a package, as a kit versus us cutting them each by hand. So let me show you how. So because we chose such a steep angle for the edging of our um, pergola beams, we have to cut our boards this way. And because we have to cut so many of them and we have to cut both sides, um, I went ahead and I installed this uh, piece of just scrap wood here using this work clamp here on my Ryobi compound miter saw. And what that allows me to do is it allows me just to push my board right up it's in the perfect spot to get my angle exactly where I need it. My cut will be beautiful, and I can just push the board up, make my cut, take it off, put the next board in. Um, I kind of just use this scrap piece of wood as a guide. So that saves me a lot of time of measuring. I don't have to measure each board. Um, we can just cut, flip it over, cut again, move on to the next board. Saves so much time. Then we have our board cut, we have our scrap piece. Now we can just bring the next board in and slide it right in. We don't have to do any measuring.